Hey everyone, this is Crew Dog. What I'm going to show you today is how to clean the lens off a digital camera. Okay. What you need to have, first of all, is you need to have a digital camera. I say I happen to have a, a couple of those. And what we do, okay, is first of all, we need to have the right kind of cleaner. cleaner. Okay. This is the one that uh, my wife has in the other room, and I, I like to use it. Because you can see right on there what it says is natural derived glass cleaner. And a little bit of Spanish talk here too. All right. This one is naturally naturally uh, derived, 95%. And what you got to watch out for, okay, you read the labels and everything else, is you read and you see, is there any ammonia in here? If you see ammonia on there as an ingredient, you don't want to use it. There's no ammonia in this one. Why? Crew dog, why? I'll tell you why. Most of the lenses on today's cameras, whether they be digital, 35 millimeter, whatever they might be, are glass. They're not plastic anymore. They used to be plastic. Some of them still are in some of the cameras. Most of them are glass, though. Looking at this one here, okay, you can see where the light reflecting off, it's not like the regular incandescent, like a white light. This one's kind of bluish. And why is that? Well, there's a coating that they put over these lenses. And what that coating does is it filters out the ultraviolets and it filters out some of the lights that can either flush out or can, you know, make the picture itself not look good. So you want to use a cleanser that's not going to remove that protective coating. So, what are we going to do? We're going to take a cotton swab, uh, I call them Q-tips, okay, that's what I'm used to calling them. And you take your cleanser, put your cotton swab right on the where the water comes out or where the cleaner comes out, and just gently, see, see how the water drips off? You know that way. The cotton is now saturated. Okay. Kind of dab it off. Bring over your camera. And what you do, okay, is don't push. Don't push it down. Just let the weight. Let the weight carry itself on there. And just very gently... Move it around on there. Don't twirl it. Don't push on it. Okay, now you use your dry part that you've got. Be very careful now. And very carefully. Just go on there. And just absorb the moisture that's on there. And that's it. Now while that's kind of evaporating or drying off back there, you can do the same thing now with your liquid crystal display or your, or your TFT depending on the camera. Take their Q, your Q-tip again with the same you have enough on there, believe me, and just wipe it. This you can push a little bit. Not too hard though because this is a LCD and it's what it is. There's a liquid that's a liquid crystal display, so there's liquid in there. And you push too hard, you can ruin that. You can cause dead spots and any kind of damage like that. And then again, just real slowly and very deliberately and very gently absorb up the moisture which is on there. And you can twirl this as you go too a little bit so you can get a dry edge, dry edge, so you keep the whole thing dry. That's a clean LCD. This this one's this one's brand new. I just changed this one out. This is a camera that I got and it had a bad LCD, so I put a new one in there. Easy to do. That's on that's on a different video. Okay, we're back to here again. This one should be dry enough now to where you can turn power off. Say goodbye, camera. There you go. 
what I also do is, this is, you don't have to, this is what I do. Whenever you use your camera, and I, I go out on uh, location, whatever else, to do some shoots. When I come back, okay, I just kind of clean up around the lens. If you go down around the beach, around the water, or anywhere really, the wind is there. And it's going to carry up dust and dirt and whatever it might be. Okay, just over the whole thing very gently. If you wanted to, you can go, do around the barrels too to, to collect all that dust that's on there. This is the easy part here. Just go around here, collect up all that dust. It came out pretty clean. It's not, not really that dirty. I do this all the time. That's why it's not dirty. But I've seen some cameras that come in and whoa. Let it sit there a little bit. Let that evaporate off. And then turn power off. And you're done. That, my friends, is the way that you clean the lens off a digital camera. Some people are going to say, no, you don't do it that way. There's special kits for that. I imagine that there are. So you can go out to your local photography shop, go out to your local super, uh, uh, shopping mall, discount mall, discount store, whatever you might want to call them. And they've got kits there that you can buy like for $16, $17, $18. Okay. What do you get? You get one of these, maybe two of these, and you get a little bit of this. And you get directions. All right. So you can do it yourself. You, everybody has these around the house. Everybody has got glass cleaner around the house. Make sure, again, there's no ammonia. Or you can go out to the store and you can buy yourself an $18 kit. All right. It's up to you. Anyway, thank you for watching very much. Please click on the ads. Appreciate that. And this is Crew Dog. Out.